Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 86. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, here we go, Maple Valley. So my license basically covers any car and any three-wheeled car. So I can drive a Reliant Robin. Or a Morgan three-wheeler. Fuck me. Imagine me rolling around in a Morgan three-wheeler. <laughs> oh, now that would be fucking funny. Oh, stretch my back out. <laughs> PLP 50. Does PLP 50 have pedals? Because if it does, then that should be fine. There's no way I'm fitting in a PLP 50, though. To be fair, though, Jeremy Clarkson fit in it, so if he fit in it, I should be able to fit in it. I'm not that much bigger than he was. Yes, he has a much bigger belly. Very big belly. This is a good song, Tack. This is a lovely song. Kings of Leon. Drive the Just Cause 3 bobsled. Fuck no. Fuck no. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson is now officially pregnant. I've been roaming around, I was looking down, and all I see. I really need to get something on the wall behind to sort of mix up the view. Hey, fuck the simp boss, let's go. Simp boss is now at 8,800 HP. By the way, for anyone on YouTube, if you do the uh, super thanks button on the video, uh, you can actually attack the simp boss over on Twitch still. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to attack the simp boss, by all means, attack the simp boss. <laughs> if you're watching this on Twitch or YouTube, feel free to share the stream out or the video out. Greatly appreciate it. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated and I thank you in advance. You were getting thanked before doing it. That's a new one. <laughs> what is a simp boss and how do I kick its ass? Uh, so the simp boss is basically like a hype boss. But it's the simp boss. Uh, if you do exclamation mark simp boss, it will explain everything. And tell you like how to kick its ass. But Oh look, exactly five seconds the car behind is. Get the poster of your wall hanged on the wall. <laughs> do you know what? I might do that just for the meme. I might just print off a picture of my wall and put it on the wall. 
Oh. Uh. Oh shit. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take a picture of the wall and put it on the wall. <laughs> Just for the meme. There's no other reason to do it other than the meme. This capture card's really struggling with this game at the moment. <laughs> Sounds hilarious. Then get a picture of the picture of the wall and hang it on the wall. I'm, I'm, I could do. <laughs> With the frame as well. Oh, so I've got to get a, a framed photo of it. I can't just stick a piece of paper on the wall. Although it'd be funnier sticking the paper on the wall, to be honest, because it's just some half-assed fucking decoration. <laughs> Nowadays it's art. Nice fancy frame, the poshest frame ever. So get the fanciest frame for the crappiest photograph in the world. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. I don't know whether it'll work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Art is just tomato sauce. No, it's tomato soup. That's what they do on all the paintings nowadays. Well, that's what the Just Stop Oil protesters keep doing. <laughs> I do find it funny. I know this is going to be a hot take. I don't care. I find it funny that these protesters are protesting, throwing soup at stuff. Right, telling us to stop oil using oil, which is fair enough. I understand oil is damaging the world. I get that point. But our entire world has been built off of running off of oil and coal and stuff like that. If we stop using oil all of a sudden, the world stops pretty much. Like, we won't have an internet at that point. Like, internet would stop. The world would just stop. There's no way we can do it uh, physically at the moment to just get rid of all oil, okay? But another point I don't understand. So, they want people to not use oil. Why don't you, instead of throwing tomato soup on paintings and telling people, don't use oil, go into education... Go and get an engineering degree, whatnot, and fucking engineer a way that we can generate electricity and make it more efficient than oil. And just a thought. Just a thought, you know. Could perfectly work. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I understand that stuff is damaging the earth. Using oil is damaging the earth. But we need companies like, quite easily, if Toyota puts knuckled down and put more effort into their hydrogen fuel cells, we could quite easily power everything off of hydrogen, right? If you want an efficient car that's cheap to run, Hydrogen fuel cell. If you want a car that makes a loud bang, it's more expensive to run, but it's still efficient because it's, you know, it's only producing water out of the backside. Hydrogen powered combustion engine. Use a hydrogen powered combustion engine. You know, it is quite easy. It's just Toyota's got to put some more effort in to make it more mainstream. I mean, w the thing is, electric power... Yeah, you just need some brain cells in a brain, yeah, I suppose. Ele 
electric power on its own, like Tesla batteries and that, is not an efficient way of storing electricity. Because of the fact that it takes so long to charge, to put the electricity into a battery, it will naturally degrade over time. So the battery doesn't store as much. And whenever that battery is plugged in um, and you leave it, Batteries will automatically just start draining. They don't hold their charge forever. They do drain. Even when they're unplugged, they still drain. Ever so slightly, but they drain. A fuel tank full of hydrogen will not drain if the fuel cell isn't using any of it. Because the fuel cell just generates the electricity as and when it's needed. I think it will happen within the next 10 years, but we really need um, hydrogen to pick up big time. Like, honestly, hydrogen, like, it takes, okay, it takes longer to refuel a hydrogen car than a petrol car. A petrol car can take two minutes, a hydrogen car would take 10 minutes. But 10 minutes, again, is so much shorter than a 30 minute fast charge that doesn't even fill your car. I need to record this for YouTube because this is a good to talking topic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I understand. Yeah, the Nokia batteries will never drain because the phones are- What the fuck? I just tried to fucking kill me. Um, okay, I tried to kill that car. Nice. We're even. Um, the thing is, right, yes, there needs to be pressure in the tank for hydrogen to come out of it. But when you think about it, hydrogen itself is extremely low density. Um, it's an air. Um, or gas, that's what I meant to say, it's a gas. So gases a lot of the time can be compressed quite drastically. You think, when you put a syringe, if you fill a syringe with air, cover the hole at the end, you can press down on that syringe quite quite easily. Because that air is easily compressible. You can easily pack a lot more air into that smaller space with just your hand. Um, and you can, you can easily compress it four, five, a sixth of the size quite easily. Um... Obviously, you'd have technology that would compress it for you and make it hold that much more. So, holding hydrogen in a tank, I don't think would be the problem. I think, obviously, fuel, when it comes to, like, a fuel tank, liquids aren't as compressible at all. You think that's why brake fluid... That's why brakes are controlled by fluids and not by gases. Because if it was controlled by gases, you'd have the spongiest brake pedal in the world. And that's why when it goes spongy, you normally have to bleed all the air out of your brakes. So, um, yeah. You can quite easily compress a lot of hydrogen into a small space. You probably end up cramming like 500 times the amount of hydrogen. It's something fucking ridiculous or something like that. Just the only problem is, how do you refuel your car when there's like, I think about five years ago, there was three hydrogen fueling stations in the UK. One of them was where I used to live in Swindon by the Honda plant, because uh, Honda actually made their cars in Swindon. Obviously now, the Honda plant has shut down doesn't exist but that station that hydrogen fuel station still exists and I think there's now 13 hydrogen fuel in stations but pretty much you could be anywhere in the world um, and if you wanted to go from like hydrogen station to hydrogen station it would take you at least about a hundred miles to go from one hydrogen point to the other like that's how far spread out they are but, it is a much, much, much more efficient way of storing electricity. 
Because hydrogen, they just do the chemical reaction there and then. You've got electricity to drive your car. Yes, you need to put electricity into, like, water to create hydrogen. Um, but as long as that electricity that's been generated has been generated from, like, solar farms or something like that, when you're creating that hydrogen quite easily, it can be a very renewable and easy way of storing electricity. When it comes to electric cars, sure, as long as the... The thing is, when it comes to electric cars, charging your cars on the national grid, you have very little control over what electricity you're actually using. So, a lot of the time, you could be using electricity that's been generated through coal, um, generated through gas, steam, um, but then you've also got wind, solar, tidal generation as well on top of that. So you've got a mix of electricities. So whenever you're driving an electric car, it's not totally like, ooh, economical. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> How are you today, Shadow? Um, yeah, so when it comes to electricity, it's not the most economical way. However... If you've got a factory that has its own wind farm, that has its own electrical grid based off of the wind that then goes, like, pumps the electricity from a wind farm into water to produce the hydrogen, you could quite easily have much more control of making that a much more eco-friendly source of electricity for cars. Why people won't do that? I've got no clue. Because money isn't a question anymore, because people can just print money and just do whatever they want. So, like, why is it a problem that they can't just get companies to do that? It's strange. Uh, I'm doing good, Shadow. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully you're having a good day. Da -da -da. I really gotta get a crack on with this, though. Come on, fucking speed up, you prick. <laughs> Fuck. Drifting my way around the corner of the band. Oh, that sucks, man. Just remember, if they if they don't want nothing to do with you, they're not worth your time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very good for advice. <laughs> but yeah. Hydrogen power powered cars could easily be the most economical thing. Um especially when it comes to how that electricity is generated, it could quite easily be done through um, very economical means. Like, very eco-friendly means. That means little to no carbon is needed to create that electricity. But hurts more than just getting blocked, to be honest. Yeah, I suppose. How long have you been left on red for, though? Because I leave a lot of people on red for the sole reason that I read their message and think I'll reply to that in a bit because I'm doing something and then forget to reply to it. Yeah, a couple of hours isn't that bad, to be honest. If it was a couple of days, then yeah, that'd be pretty shit. A couple of hours. They could have just read it and, like, not responded. You said a couple of hours a minute ago. It's not a couple of hours if it's a day and a half. <laughs> I 
But again, sometimes people can just be busy. I've had it where I've not responded to a message from someone for like three days. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty... Can be pretty annoying. I mean, it all depends what um, they're doing though, because if someone's busy and they can't reply, then I know we're in, like, a lot of people nowadays sort of expect people to respond immediately because we're in an era where people can, like, communicate with each other directly like that. And it's as easy as looking and seeing, so... Well, if you have, you have. Like, there's not really much you can do about it other than move on. Enjoy your life. You get me, G. Systematic cam reactor. Doing okay so far. Let's fucking go. My chain reaction. Move. Move. <laughs> fucking slow ass car. My love, my, my love, my love, my love. Ah. Just gotta live your life. End of the day. No point dwelling on it. That's what I've learned. So far, I'm enjoying life again. <laughs> For the first time in like, I don't know. Three, four, five, six, seven, since I was born maybe actually enjoying life <laughs> so you know i'm vibing i'm having fun that'll probably change as soon as i find whatever job it is that i end up with but <laughs> for now i'm enjoying life i'm gonna stick with it systematic chain reaction i don't know the lyrics Joys of being a heavy overthinker. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I used to overthink until I was like, what's the fucking point in thinking about it? Just fucking live in the moment. And two years after thinking that, I finally <laughs> it started working. So, you know. I'm enjoying it. What if I say I'm not like the others? If I say I'm not just another one of your place, you're the pretender. What if I say I'm not like the others? I love this song. What a tune. Oh well. <laughs> What if I say I'm not like the others? What if I say I'm- Oh, you tit. This song is on all the time in the kitchen at work. Because it's a fucking good song. The Foo Fighters are one of the best bands that have ever existed. Ever. 
like with a lot of bands nowadays, and especially in the olden days as well, they had a couple of really good hits that were like better than the majority of Foo Fighters songs, I'll be honest. Like Master of Puppets by Metallica is really good compared to a lot of Foo Fighters songs. But the difference is, right, whereas most modern day bands will have a couple of songs that are 10 out of 10, and a majority of them end up being like 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10. Foo Fighters themselves, majority of their songs are all 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. So sure, they haven't got any hits that are like fucking, wow, that's the best song in the world. But they've got so many good songs that they're a good band. Like Metallica have a lot of like, huh. they've got a lot of really good ones. They've got a lot of songs that it's like, what? It just doesn't hit the same as the rest of their songs. Paramore's a great example for me. Um, for that. Like, I love some of Paramore's big hits. Like, they are amazing. But the rest of them, and especially their last album. Eh. I wouldn't care if the internet deleted them forever. It wouldn't bother me. Four point one gigabytes. Ah, fucking great. I'll probably set up my PS5 straight away then and just sort it all out later. Ah, yeah. Dunam. Dunanam. Lady, hear me tonight. I don't agree with you, Shadow. Not an L band. Uh, unless you're on about a different band. But if you're on about Foo Fighters, nah. They're not an L band. <laughs> this is a good song, man. Anything off of non stop pop on GTA 5 slaps. Non-stop pop was the radio station that everyone listened to. If you listen to anything else, you're just weird. Can't you see? You're my delight. Lady. Should and have spare for a cheaper game. What's your budget? Depends what your budget is. Hands. Twenty euros just to kill time. Have you got breakfast? Yes, you have. Um, have you got Dirt Three on PC and Dirt Showdown? All right. <laughs> yes, yes. Sounds good. Mm. I don't know, I might have to get back to you on that one. Oh, fucking hell. What do I have in my Steam library? That I've been playing lately. I've been playing this game called Truck Racer. Pretty decent. Um. Yeah, I really don't know, to be honest. Bop.
How does it make you feel that a Foo Fighters song was in a Fortnite event as a main song? I don't give a shit. To be honest. Like, it doesn't bother me. I hate the game Fortnite. I don't hate the fact that they use songs. By all means, any game can use a song in its event. I don't care. Just because they use music doesn't mean, Oh, I hate that. Why are you doing that? I hate Fortnite because of what it's done to the video game industry as a whole. Because of how popular it became, it ruined the video game industry. And because they got so greedy with money, a lot of other video games thought they could do the same. And they keep doing it. Shit. I hate Battle Royale as well, I'll be honest. Battle Royale is a... Uh, okay, that doesn't work. Yeah, I suppose. Battle Royale is a terrible game mode. Um, some people enjoy it because... They like the thrill of being able to prove they're better than a hundred other people. But those are just people that have a really big fucking ego that needs to be filled in, really. Like, I don't mind just doing a team deathmatch on Call of Duty. Not even to win, but just to shoot shit. Like, I literally... The only reason I do team deathmatch on Call of Duty is because I want to kill shit on that game. It's just like, oh, look, there's a player, bop. There's a player, bop. There's a player, bop. That's it. That's the whole reason I play Call of Duty. And to be honest, if, if you have that opinion that you just want to go play a game and kill shit, Battle Royale is not that. So if you use that reason and say, oh, yeah, I do that too. I like Battle Royale. No, you fucking don't. You're lying. You're lying about one or the other statement. So... Save the world, then. Save the world's alright. Actually, I'm, I don't mind Save the World. I think it's actually an alright game mode. But they pretty much just fucking gave up on Save the World. Um, as soon as Battle Royale. Yeah, but you got bored because you had played enough of the game. That happens with every game. It's a fact that while you were enjoying the game, were you enjoying the game? Yes. Good game mode. You know. Like, I'll play Forza Motorsport 3, right? I'll play through the whole thing. I'll get bored of it. I won't want to play it again for another 10 years, but I'll still say that was a really good game. You know. That does surprise me, to be honest. Yeah, Battle Royale is um, not my favourite game mode. I'm cooking dinner tomorrow. You're going to be cooking fucking fajitas. It's going to be pretty cool. Live la vida, or fiesta, till I max out the visa. You got more life to say. Yeah. So I'll play a little harder. Hey, hey. I wouldn't mind Fortnite if it wasn't for the fact that it got so successful. And it's, it's not the problem that a game became successful, I don't like it. Because Minecraft becomes became successful. I didn't hate Minecraft because it was successful. I don't hate Fortnite because it's successful. I hate Fortnite because it became successful and basically reinvented how games should be. The reason why so many games have microtransactions that are free to play but they constantly add like all these monetary incentives and all that shit is because of Fortnite. Hands down. Hands down that is the reason it all exists. And that's why I hate Fortnite. Because it ruined the video game industry. End of discussion. 
We got 1.2 million credits though. Let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.